<laughs> Anyways, um, I'm Sig Severins and I'm from Denmark. And uh, as a child, I was very energetic. And um, oh, can we go back one second or not? Well, you can still see something there. Anyways, as a child, I was very energetic, adventurous, and um, very curious. Same with my brother, uh, who's usually with me. Um, and uh, that led to a long journey, which today, to state some facts, I'm a four times three diamond world champion. I'm a most Guinness world record holder. Uh, I have a master's degree in biology, PhD in medicine, and I'm the founder of pathology. But you all know this, more or less. Those are just facts. What you don't know is that when I was five, I was given a guinea pig. And um, that was a, a fun few weeks until I developed severe asthma. Uh, so we had to get rid of those, which was painful in itself. But that also changed my life dramatically from being a very active, sporty, a healthy child to suddenly grinding my teeth and being afraid at, at night and uh, I couldn't catch my breath. So I, I started this journey on exploring how can you change the body, how can you change the, the brain. And I discovered through breathing that there's so much we can actually do. And what most people will tell you is that breathing, like breathe, breathe is good, but breathing is stressful. You know, expanding and using your muscles is stressful, so you should focus on the exhale. The key to relaxation is in the exhalation, if you remember that. And it also led me into free diving in the sense that I was a competitive swimmer all my life. I grew up on a boat, we had a pool in my backyard. And uh, when you're in, in that deep, nice blue water, you also discover your inner dolphin, as I call it. Other people, scientists call it the mammalian dive response. But it, it, it is changing your nervous system completely and you shift into this relaxed state and you feel good. The blood flows in a different way. And, and in free diving, what we actually do is something that defies science because if you look in any medical book my brother's fine doctors i'm not angry with doctors my sister's a nurse i'm not angry with nurses but but it tells you that you can expand your lungs you know you can train your lungs so in freedom we train the lungs beyond normal capacity and we also train it below so we pump the lungs full and we also exhale and we go deep into the ocean. And when I was at my peak, I was at 14.1 liters, which is a bit more than the average lung volume. And uh, that led me to, in 2010, uh, set uh, my first Guinness World Record of 20 minutes, 10 seconds after a pre oxygenated uh, per uh, preparation. Uh, so I held my breath for 20 minutes, 10 seconds, uh, like the year. So easy for blinds to remember as I said. And the same year, to try to train my, my body as well, not only the mind, which because when you hold your breath for a long time, you have to kind of have a strong mind or strange mind. So I tried to train the body and we had an ice winter in Denmark, so I thought, oh, I'll do an ice dive. So I, you know, got it all together and made another game for record. Then a few years later, uh, Discovery Channel calls didn't call, but let's just say it called. <laughs> and uh, I was on a live show where I did 22 minutes, which is the current Guinness World Record of uh, longest trip <coughs> on this planet. And my brother is that young, good looking guy here, by the way. And uh, I was uh, named the ultimate superhuman, and that is not so interesting in itself, more than I actually learned that all the Guinness World Records and the extreme performances are much more validated and much more recognized by the public than all the wonderful records of William and other fine divers that really do records. but these small media records were good. Oh, what happened there? I was talking about blood. You saw the blood samples. So what we do in free diving and extreme breath holding is we actually change the anatomy. We change the blood structure. We get more red blood cells, meaning we become more healthy, we become stronger, and we don't fall ill as often. And again, back to the free diving and all the wonderful things that you see in nature. You meet yourself and you meet animals. And that sea lion also has a lot more hemoglobin because it's holding its breath. So diving mammals have higher loads of Hemoglobin. I continued my journey. I went to India. I got my. I have two different gurus. I got taught by all the the mystical world. I was introduced to the history of, of ancient uh, traditions and breathing. And I was introduced to pranayama, the secret science of breathing, which also has a large part that deals with breath holding. So all the benefits that you actually gain from breath holding and from the mind control, because the link between pranayama is to take the body and connect it with the mind. So the pranayama is the fourth step in yoga, the eight steps in yoga. And I put all that knowledge then into a book, which I call Breathology, 
Uh, and it's, it's just a normal uh, book in the sense that it's a step-by-step -step guide, but I took all this information from my scientific background, from my elite sports background, and from my interest in yoga and ancient timeless wisdom, and I put that into a book, and it became a bestseller, and yada, 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 have it now in nine languages. Uh, but then more and more people, of course, started uh, contacting me and saying, couldn't we have some live performance? I, I, I want to learn more about this breathing. I want to have a better life. So I started doing that around the world and, and bringing people back to nature offline um, and, and, and really connecting with themselves. But what I found out was that it's impossible to serve so many people. We're about 7 billion people, not all read the book, of course. But it's, it's, it's an expanding world. So I thought, why not let people connect when they want to train? So I started doing meditation programs and things that I put online. So for the last five years, I've actually put all my time and all my money uh, and all my energy into building an online platform where people can gather information, read articles, sign up for different programs, training, breathing, and breath holding. I also lost my best friend two years ago in a drowning accident. So I actually created something where people can learn to be more safe in the water. They can learn to, to not have a blackout and, and what signals uh, and signs they should be uh, aware of. So you might see this as a short little story introduction of a, a boy with asthma who became a world champion. But actually, there's more of the story that everyone can become a champion of his or her own life, and uh, not least, uh, a breathing master. And, and the breathing is the thread in life that goes through from birth to death. So the more you breathe fully, the, the more you live. And so that's me, right here, almost in shorts. That's where I am today, continuing the journey, now working in, in the medical field, uh, helping developing devices that can not only help for a safer protocol in, in free diving and extreme sports, but actually also for patient safety, hopefully around the world in the future. Thank you.